Hello, welcome to this mini project. This is future me talking because I've done this in real time. It took 30 minutes and I'm going to play that after this little introduction because it's entirely possible you can just go off and do this yourself with just me pointing out what we're doing. All we're doing is creating some instruments using our voice only. And to do that, there's just a few steps to it, which I do in real time in a minute. But let me just run you through it because you can quite happily go off and do this on your own. You need to record an audio file. So into your phone or into a microphone, into your door, however you do it, you just need to get these sounds that I've put here are the ones I've done. So I've sort of tried to do it with my mouth closed to get a kick sound. I've done a snare tss, for hi-hats. R's, E's, O's, and some other things. Do as many as you like, or just do those ones uh, that I've suggested up to you. But you need to record those sounds into your door. What you're then going to do is set up each quick sampler instrument, and you are going to edit the start and the end of each sound so that when you press a key on your keyboard it plays it back. So let's go to there's the snare, we've got hi-hat. So you have to edit the beginning and end points, possibly put a fade in. And for some longer notes what you will want to do is put the loop on as well uh, so it keeps looping around and you get a longer sort of synth sound we can use later but essentially that's what you're doing you're creating in this case 16 different sounds chopping them up putting each of them into quick sampler editing them in quick sampler so you've got to start at an end point so that it plays when you hit the key and for the longer notes uses a repeat loop um, and that's literally all I've done here. Um, and this is the end of the project. So now we'll go to past me, um, starting from scratch and coming up with this. Hope you enjoy. Hello, welcome to this mini project, which you can try out as well. What we're gonna do is make a soundtrack or cue just using our voice as the instrument. So forget all the VSTs that you've got, all the built-in sounds in Logic or whatever door you're using. We're going to just use our voice to try and make a cue. Now this was inspired by Dave Croft over at 52 Cues who said make a track using vocals and I thought well what about just using your voice. So thanks for the inspiration Dave. What we're going to have to do is record some sounds. So I've got an idea of what I want here to try and em emulate a kick, snare, hi-hat, china, toms. Then I thought for some instruments we could use the R-E-O sounds and we'll have a woe for a sort of wah effect or wah and then some sort of doom to make a bass sound. So you could record this into your phone and get the sound file from that. Um, I happen to have an SM57 plugged into my audio interface. So I'm just going to use that. Do make sure that the mic level is up so that you're getting a, so it's not obviously hitting the limit, but you want to make sure that it's making a sound. So if I check that, yeah, I've got a green light that's coming on on my interface uh, and it's not going red which is the important thing and the green is important because it means it's actually responding so how do we go about this well we're just going to create an audio track and we're, to test it to make sure it's working this has gone to input one which i think is correct for my mic there's nothing coming through at the moment but when you arm the track then you start seeing it respond. So you've got to put it into record mode to be able to see it's working. So rather embarrassingly, 
I'm going to try and make these sounds record them. If I don't think a sound has been particularly good, all I'm going to do is pause and then do it again. Uh, because we're going to be chopping this up in a second. So let's have a go at this. So the first one is... Mm, mm. Right, OK, let's have a go. Da, do, do. Ah, e, o, ah, e, o. Wow. Dum. Actually, I've surprised myself there. I'm fairly happy with that. Now, you could, if you want to, go through and really analyse and sort of noise reduce this uh, waveform we've got now. But let's see. Let's get rid of those. Just check we've actually got some sound. Okay, now I sort of naturally sort of sung those at different pitches as if they were do 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 Oh Um but what's gonna happen is we're gonna now split this up and when it goes into the sampler then we're going to be pitch shifting it anyway. So the first thing we're going to do is you don't need to be too accurate with this because we're going to have to do this in the sampler as well but I just want to for example I don't want to import the entire thing and then try and split the different sections different sound effects. Let's try and make it as easy as possible for ourselves. So just cutting before and after the sounds. Do, 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 do. Talk amongst yourselves. Hope you don't mind me doing this real time. You don't have a choice. Oh, that might be a bit close. Oh. Odd. There we go. And the last one there. Okay, back to our pointer tool. And we're going to remove the empty sections. So we're getting rid of the silence now. Okay, there's our basis for what we're doing. Doesn't matter where they are, but I do want to remember which one I'm doing at what time. Uh, if, okay. Oops. What I'm doing is just placing these in groups of four. Because when we do each of the instruments, hopefully I can remember which ones they are. In fact, if I put a space. So the first four of that. There we go. Uh, 
No, that's two. And then we've got China and the Toms. Do do do. And then ah uh, e. What I've done. He's got rid of the little R's, I think. R E O R. Oh no, there they are. E O. Because I zoomed in. So we got these first four. Let's Group them a bit sensibler. So that'll be the kick snare hi hat open closed. And we've got that China and the Toms. So we've got R E O followed by R. E and O longer, and we've got a wah and a dump at the end. There we go. Great. So I'm going to make that smaller because we're going to need a fair bit of room here because we now need to create our instruments that we're going to compose with. So uh, Let's get new software instrument and what we're going to use is quick sampler. Now for example for this um, first one the kick do you want original or optimized I'm going to pop it in optimized because it's going to detect the tuning and what I need to do now see what this sounds like. Now if I start that with the waveform at the top, it's got more of a click. Now we're going to add effects and stuff to this. But we're just trying to find a good start and end point for it. If you wanted to fade it in or out, you can use those markers at the top so it won't clip. So it's probably worth putting a fade at the end. If you want it to come in softer, we can do that later. Maybe a bit earlier. Yeah. Okay, there you go. There's our first sound. A kick. All I need now is in fact what I'll do. Let's create them. How many are there? Sixteen. Wow. Um, yeah, I'm going to need my little notepad again to remember what we're doing. Kick snare. Open. 
sort of china or a symbol maybe. R short, E short, O short. R long. E long. Oolong, T, yum yum. Actually, not one of my favourite teas, to be fair. Give me good old Assam Builders tea any day. Okay, so the good thing is I can now play on the keyboard. That kick sound, which isn't sounding very kicky at the moment. But we can worry about that later. Let's just get these sounds in here to start with. So snare, start point. More of a click really, isn't it? Pretty good though, for a sound. Yeah, it does need to be a little bit longer. There you go, that'll do. So I can now play a snare. And different pitches, cool. That's pretty cool, like that. Okay, how did hi hat open go? No, no. In the wrong bit. Let's grab the right sample. So we're already getting rid of some of that sort of human sounding element. Because we're cutting off the beginning of the forming of the sound. It's pretty good. Right, symbol crash coming up, cover your ears. Don't bother, it won't be that loud. Grabbed the wrong one again. Should be looking at this list as well. Doesn't 
Is that right? Okay, that's going to sound better when it's pitched down, I think. Okay, so you can test that as you go. Um, it doesn't actually really matter what these eventually sound like. The point is, we've got, what, 16 individual sounds. And that is what we need to be able to make instruments for our tracks. So, da, da, da. Maybe let's make them a bit shorter. And this should be our last one, our Homer Simpson dope. at the end there. E, 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 e. 
That'll do. Ooh, 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 ooh. And the O's. these longer ones I'm gonna put a repeat in I think uh, uh, otherwise uh, we've got nothing So let's put a forward loop in. Uh, now the catch here is to make sure your start and end point are the same part of the wave. Uh, Otherwise you get that click. of it. That's pretty good. Okay, I can live with that. A bit of trial and error, really. So move the front one to a random place and then fiddle with. That's pretty good. I mean, the 
amplitude changes quite a bit. Be better if it was there. Just wondered if auto loop would work there. The answer is no. Just stick with that. Otherwise, we will be here all day. sort of what you need to do to get started and in the next part let's try and actually write a rhythm and maybe some sort of melody with this should be fun uh, so go away have a go at this yourself all you have to do microphone record in those sounds or make up more of your own make a track for each quick sampler on each one drag it in optimize Start and end, edit, and then you can have a playthrough with your own voice. Hope you find this fun. Okay, see you in the next part. Bye for now. <laughs>